I'm so excited to host you guys. Welcome to Mini Skirts First Shindig. Clap it up. <laughs> and this is really special to me because I picked all of you personally. And I really wanted to take some time to like do a little icebreaker portion, really get to know each other. I know some of us know each other, some don't. I think that's great. Um, also tonight, a dinner party would not be complete without drinks. So we have our, tonight's drinks are Cardi and Nikki, <laughs> and we judging you based on what you fit, because what they say, you can tell a lot about a person by their drink, so look at what, what y'all got going. This okay. Is the red yeah. is Barty, and the blue is Nikki. So you can switch up this What do you mean if you got both in the I cup? What do you mean? Oh, freak <laughs> <laughs> so, Nikki B. Right, Nikki B. But we're not going to tell them that. So then I'm going to let Thomas take it away. So today we're going to make Bang Bang Shrimp. So this is my lovely friend and chef extraordinaire, hey. Thomas Chai. Hey. Take it away, buddy. All right, cool. Um, so we're going to do these Bang Bang Lettuce Chicken Wraps. It's kind of a mix between the Bang Bang Shrimp that you would get from Bonefish as well as the famous uh, chicken lettuce wrap that you would normally get from a P.F. Chang's. So your first task would be to put your gloves on so that we can keep it sanitary. And then we are going to take the tails off of our shrimp. They've already been, for the most part, peeled and deveined. Um, you want to devein them because that gets rid of the poop track that's on most shrimp. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, um, of Animal Planet, right? Uh-huh. So I hear that, you know, shrimps are the roaches of the sea. I'm not sure if, you know, my, my cast members heard of that before, right? Yeah, so that. they're actually, most uh, most of your crustaceans are bottom feeders, which means that they oh, eat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's get them a new name. <laughs> which means that they eat what's just like on the, the, the floor of the, of the ocean. Um, but if you can get some locally sustainable ones, then uh, they're just made in a better environment. I need you some top So wait, where is the poop truck? They say uh, so those right. have already been deveined, oh, been so deveined. there is no poop truck. And it's not a race, you guys. I see some of us racing. <laughs> <laughs> they say you took the ass out already. All right. Okay. So after you do that, um, you're going to put them in the bowl, and then we're going to season them. Um, a, lemon and, a lemon and herb obey. Uh, if you're if you're doing seafood, obey is is got to be uh, a staple. Um, and when you say when you say herb, mm -hmm. <laughs> by herb I mean <laughs> like garlic, rosemary, oh, and DC. yeah 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 you know that that's, <laughs> that type Cat. of herb. But now I mean if we you know maybe for episode two you know we do a cannabis butter or something like that. Okay. Um, I like to add in. Um, I call it, it's a, it's a Bayou Cajun seasoning, um, but any one that you have, you can add. Um, the one thing I do also like about um, Obey is that it's got paprika, it's got lemongrass, it's, it's got celery um, in it. So there's a bunch of different seasonings that are kind of already wrapped in one. Fun fact about so, me, mm -hmm. I use Cajun on my eggs. Like, I put no, Cajun on everything. Yeah. So you say, what about beer? Like, do you put beer in your, in your seafood? In my seafood? Now, they say that you can add beer if you're, like, you know, doing crabs or something like that. Mm -hmm. no, normally, you would put beer in what you would boil crabs with. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're frying these, 
Um, yeah, I don't necessarily think that it adds a whole depth of flavor. Um, we gonna pass that around. Yeah, we gonna fry them. Um, we also have some lemon pepper, and then I use a complete that's got onion, it's got garlic, it's got basil. Um, you know, you just want to make sure your food is seasoned. And then normally when you fry, a lot of people will use a flour. Uh, today we're going to use a cornstarch. That's normally what your local carryout is going to use. Your On top of the shrimp? No, no so this, the the, the, this oh. is after we fry it. Um, okay. So our next phase is we're actually going to dredge it in cornstarch. It's cornstarch. Right. So, so if you're going to toss something, you're going to dredge it. Yeah. So yeah. I want somebody like toss me like, dredge me the remote over there. Dredge, uh, not no. Because no. dredge means to like <laughs> submerge. It's like dredge. Ooh, yeah. Next time I do this, I'm going to say, I'm going to dredge that shit. <laughs> What made it be shrimp today? Um, I think a lot of times, again, we we've had the chicken lettuce wraps before, but mm -hmm. this is just a different, you know, just a different protein to incorporate into that. And I didn't want to give us something that we couldn't pronounce or like a food that you guys wouldn't eat. So I thought, bang bang shrimp. Everyone would, can't go wrong there. Um, before we add our seasoning, we're going to add the zest of one lemon. Does anyone know what a zest is? Yes. Yeah. This a is punch. It. You like a tank. Okay. It gives you it a punch. punch. It's actually the bare remnants of what's that? Keep going. I mean, I mean, I know. Uh -huh. I know. It's like a little bit of it's like the peel, but it ain't the peel. It's right. like the zest from the peel. Mm -hmm. So like a little it's like a little zest. A zest is like a little zest. <laughs> but if you don't go like this, then it's like like just a little jump from the outside. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Um <laughs> and so <laughs> What? It's like a little yeah. He said a little Hey, watch. Watch, yeah. watch when he watch when he do. He gonna go like this, and it's gonna be a little zest. I thought he, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be the spot. He said the bareness of necessity. The simple bareness of necessity. That's what I thought he was gonna say. Watch my mind. So what is going on? But so, like you said, it's it's the it's Just the peel the of. Uh, a little sprinkle, sprinkle. That's our tagline for today. Sprinkle, sprinkle, baby. Um, but your zest is just—it's the skin of any citrus fruit, um, and normally it just adds a heightened flavor. Lemon will always increase the the flavor profile of whatever it is that you're cooking. Come on. Whether it's chicken or you know steak or whatever, lemon is is always good for that. Come on, sis. We gonna Let's add some zest to all our meals. Oh yeah, he putting the peel oh, on it like. And the peel is the zest. The, the zest. zest. They say that's not the most healthiest part of it. Yeah, this is where you can find a lot of the nutrients that are in your fruit. Um, on the peel? Yeah, on so. All peels and stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, most peels, that's where the majority of your fiber is going to be. If you think about an apple or a pear or anything like that. Um, so when they say if you like peel an apple, you're getting rid of most of the fiber, you know, which helps keep you right. Uh, then you want to try and catch the majority of the seeds if you can. Because, you know, some of them would have did it, they just would have let it. Hang all in there. Actually, you should go get one of the little net gems. Right, right. So I've been in the kitchen yeah, two times. Yeah, if you get like some cheesecloth, uh, that goes cool. really well. Yeah. Yep. So then we're just going to start seasoning with our different ones that we have around. I would say be generous. Like season until your ancestors tell you to stop. That's kind of normally how okay. I roll. My ancestors got. Are you gonna put it here? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna it. yeah we're oh, just gonna shit. go around. So oh, okay. I'm gonna have you start with the complete part. Oh, oh you wanted to do like the Cajun. Season, season. Yeah, yeah. season, season. Yeah, I like season. my Cajun now, so the name of Constance. I think that's good. Alright. <laughs> My boy stirred three shrimps. <laughs> there, there you go. That's a good angle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> That thing, oh, that's your top coat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have you. Yeah, you don't burn it. You don't burn that. He's like, that's just oh, it. Watch out. Oh, I'm gonna take the top off. I took the top off. How did that make it this wet? This is what you got. Gotcha. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Oh, Order, in order to get it wet, they like it rough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Because <laughs> you already were gentle. Put your face down. Do it. No. Do it with the nails. 
Okay. We need, we need, we need a nice little You might got to open up the other yeah, side. Know, you might got to do the big dog. Not too much, though. Not you might got to open up. Hey, just a gentle pull. Yeah, I like that. I like right. that flow you got on that. Okay. Yes, indeed. Now, what you going to do with this? She's going to use her tones. Don't play she's going to keep it cute. Don't play with it. Thank you for keeping it classy. <laughs> How many of y'all cook in here? I cook. I cook. I mean, for, for that night. If it's consistent, you do that once a week. Every night? Yeah. You doing it well, this is right just my next point. Week. How important is cooking in a millennial relationship oh, today? Right. Very, very important. Very. Just, very. just because me, I eat out every night. Just because me? I eat out every night. Every night? Every night. Every night. Every you don't cook night. nothing? This thing just with the whole. So, <laughs> so when, I, when I get a home cook meal, it's like, slam! <sighs> Just a day. Uh, I thought it was just a little bit. No. A mayonnaise. So, it's the whole job? Uh, I mean, for the most part, essentially your sriracha is going to make it really spicy, so your mayonnaise actually like that. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. How important is it job. for us to have guys that cook? Um, is it a little bit? Well, it's a little bit important. It's not like a necessity. What's the most? Important? It would be nice. Like, oh, from a one to ten, ten being like very important, it would be like a four. I think that if oh, my guy can make breakfast, yeah, I'm, I'm good at breakfast. If you can make breakfast, yeah, like just middle stuff. Okay, just middle stuff to like maintain. If you like, can make breakfast yeah. and like you can, like yeah. and like you, can like you can surprise me every once in a while with the meal, then we're good. We're but good. It's, it's even like the times I'm tired, I don't feel like cooking. If you can just be like, let me just put something eat together. That. No, let I me put something some, together. That's if like a, if you needed. call your girl and you hear, hear her voice, you want to know she tired or whatever. Are you going to take the extra going, step to yeah. make her meal yeah. and not yeah. call Uber Eats? But you, yeah, no, I don't she, mind like shit. If she, she, if you, if she tired and then I'm tired, you get into the pants. The pants. What you want? Depends if you're tired or not. But if you're not if, tired, even if we, even if I'm not, the Uber Eats is okay. What you want, boo? Please do. Yeah, what Uber Eats is okay. It is. It's perfectly fine. And if you don't cook, if he's willing to buy food all the time, yeah, for no. sure with that. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. Right, all right, so answer this question. Don't worry about it. What's, what's the average amount of cooking per week? For, for a man? For, for a guy? For, for, for this, Like for having a home cooked meal per week. How many times do I get hungry per week? Seven days. Three days, no, three four. days a week? You got to cook four times. A week? You got to cook four times. You know what? You don't got to cook four times. Eat If it's enough. If you if you leftover salad, I'm doing left over. Why heat it up? Why heat it up? I'm doing that. That's so heat it up. So this is one night. I might I might bang bang. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all wanna y'all wanna try the bang bang sauce? Of course. I'm not into that tasting sauces, so I'm gonna leave it on y'all. Tasting sauces. I can't taste that sauce. Why are you? I am, but y'all like I really can't do mayonnaise like that. You just want to taste mayonnaise. You gonna taste bang bang? Just pull out your. Yep. She knew that she ain't never tasted a taste that much. much. It's a lot. I don't want that much. Oh, that's good. It's I don't good. Want that much. I need you don't want like that a, much? I need like a fucking. You don't need a dollar. I need 25 cents. That's really good. What kind of business like the most? I'm trying to keep it classy. No, that motherfucker. 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 That that motherfucker 100. I ain't going to lie to you. Marcus, you got to try it. Just close your eyes. That motherfucker 100. Just close your eyes. That motherfucker 100. Okay, you... All right. That nigga opened it. He was. All right. Nasty nigga. Give me a nut. Nasty nigga. Oh, yeah, give me two of them. Two nasty niggas. Oh, he tried. He tried. Hey, Mert, that motherfucker. Hold on. That thing got a little kick to it, don't it? This is your sweet chili sauce? That's what you taste, right? Nah, it may need a little more. You prefer it to have more of that? You taste it. What's that? Spice? I taste a lot of the... This is That's the spice. spice. Yeah. This is the spice. This is the spice. Put some more sweet chili in it. Put some more sweet chili. Like a little bit of it. Hat around. Hold on. Hold on. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold on. A little bit more. A little bit more. I think that's good. Okay. Everybody agree. Everybody agree. Good. You good. That was there. Oh, look at the consistency. Yeah. The consistency is shit. Hey man, that's a great look right there. I'm glad. Let me try. See that? Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time. Nah, only thing you need. That nigga nasty nigga. You see how you? So now what's 
So we're going to dredge our shrimp in our cornstarch. Dredge. So, so if you all can form it. Take like three or four shrimp, toss them in there, and then you're just going to put it on this plate. What? Do it now. Toss the shrimp. So you're going to take like three or four shrimp at a time. Okay. So in theory, one, I'll do a, uh, okay. a demo for you. Toss it in there. Knock off the excess. And then put them on. Okay. And then okay. Put it on the I got you. Oh, All right. <laughs> So you get you a jump and she got a little corn stuff. <laughs> she's ready to get drenched. <laughs> you know, After you do that, uh, we'll drop that batch um, so that we can then uh, get it together. Get them, get them going. So now that we have, we fried our shrimp in our cornstarch, we're now going to toss it in our bang bang sauce, which again is the sweet Thai chili, it's the sriracha and the mayo. The part we've been waiting for. The part we've been waiting for, and then we can dig in. So, and I normally, uh, you know, you put a paper towel down on your plate just so that it can catch the excess oil. You also want any protein, whether it's a fish or a meat um, you want it to rest before you toss in anything or eating it just so that the juices are able to come back into the meat. Let pause. it rest. Pause. Let it rest. It's not, it's not the juices right. come back into the meat. Let your, so pause. After it's fresh pause. out, let your meat rest. Yeah. So the juices can come back. Pause. Yeah, you don't want it swollen, I guess. Right? Pause. 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 <laughs> Find your seat, young man. And don't you get up. 20 seconds. 20. So this will be about enough, um, and then I'm gonna pass it around, and then you all just get it. Get oh, it oh, we all got to look. We all got to look. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you tall as a snap. Nah, you tall as a snap. I'm not a. You know she ain't oh, she ain't been doing that for nothing. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Pass. It's like Bobby. Yep. Uh huh. Twenty. <laughs> well, he didn't do no tossing. He said, yeah, not, niggas not doing what they niggas not doing. They don't be in Yeah, the you don't remember the game where it's like, bop it, twist it, mm -hmm. uh -huh. pull it. Just relax. <laughs> and then you relax. Relax. <laughs> relax, bro. Relax. Relax, bro. I think we got enough tossing, though. Oh, shit, I got to touch my eight times. Sure, you place it on the side, and you get one thumb on the top. You take your right hand, and you hold like the bottom base, and you also get one thumb on the top. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. You can't do it. It's all right done. So, so okay, yeah, yeah, okay, flip. Out. Okay, okay let me see the flip. I see the flip. I see the flip. Flip, flip, flip. 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 You got to flip one. Flip right. one. Oh, 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 okay. 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 Don't get greedy. <laughs> I had one of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> Somebody give my boy a napkin for his hand. <laughs> right now. You need a wet wipe? Yeah, fool need a whole baby wipe on his jaw. I'm good. Well, you guys, this has been wonderful. But y'all need to save y'all appetites for dinner. That's why I'm so we're going to be right back for dinner.
Mm -hmm. Hope you guys have fun. Bang, 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 shrimp. Come on, Zell, do my sprinkle, sprinkle. Come on, Zell, sprinkle, sprinkle.